so hard to imagine that this paradise was once a scene of a bloody World War II battle. The most recent wreck to be discovered in Palau is a sunken Japanese vessel known as the Helmet Wreck. Although its identity is still being researched, it was given its name because of the numerous helmets discovered in its cargo hold. Time and the effects of seawater have fused these helmets together. came to Rangaroa for one reason, because we're sharkaholics. In blue water diving, there's nothing around you but blue. And let me tell you, even for the most experienced divers, this can become very confusing. When big hungry sharks are thrown into the mix, the scenario becomes even more dangerous. Without the protection of the reef, divers are more vulnerable because the sharks can approach from any direction. So insane, wasn't it? Yeah. What was so trippy is that we're out in the middle of the deep blue. You're fully in their territory, and you're at their mercy, basically. That was a cool dive. We pulled it. That was one of my best dives I've ever That was awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. No cage, no landmarks, just blue. Just there. And sharks. Most jellyfish use stingers to kill their prey. The jellyfish that live in this lake are strict vegetarians. They have developed a symbiotic relationship to algae. They feed on this algae, which remain alive inside their translucent bodies. The jellies then float to the surface of the water to allow the algae within them to soak up sunlight and photosynthesize. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants and algae extract energy from sunlight. The jellyfish that live in these lakes are descendants of jellyfish that inhabit the ocean. When the sea level dropped millions of years ago and the marine lakes were formed, these animals from the sea became trapped but they were able to adapt to their new environment and are testaments to the strength of Mother Nature.